Okay, this time we are stretching and shrinking our parent functions. So I kind of drew a sketch of what the first one is because I know that this is my quadratic and I have a parabola. So I'm going to look at what it would normally look at, look like. So normally if I went over one, I'd go up one, over two, up four, over three, up nine, over four, up 16. But because I have a 4 in front of it, I need to multiply all the values that I'm getting out over here by 4. So this is going to stretch it. So now 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 9 times 4 is 36, 16 times 4 is 64. So let's go ahead and plot some of those. So I have, I know that I'm not shifting left or right or up or down because I don't have any of that in place with this equation. So my starting point is at zero, zero. So I always start from here, over one, up four. Over one, up four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I can do the other side as well. That would be a mirror of this one. Negative one, up four. Now I can go over two. One, two, and that's up to 16, and so that's, Kind of up here, and then I would mirror it on the other side. Stretches it out. So this is multiplied by 4, so my values are so much more dramatic, so much more stretched out. All right, let's take a look at another one. I have my absolute value function. So my parent function um, would look like that when we graph it. So I've already done a t-chart. If I put in one, I'm gonna get out one. Absolute value, if remember, is the distance. So one, one, now I'm gonna use my stretch or shrink factor, which is one half, so I'm gonna times by one half. Well, one times one half is one half. So this would be a, this would be one half as well. Two to times one half is one, and that would be one, and zero would be zero. All right, so I know that I'm gonna, I've already put some of these in place, let me erase these and get a better drawing on here. So I know that I'm not shifting left or right or up and down, so I know my vertex is starting right here. So I always go back to the starting point with each piece. Over one, up one half. I'm gonna go to the other side. Negative one, up one half. Over two, one, two, up one. Over two, up one. Okay, I could keep going in this manner because we know that the absolute value lines are, are excuse me, straight lines. This is a rough sketch. I do have five points on here. Um, you would probably want to do more than that in this case because those are some really close points. All right, our next function is our cubed function. Now we have some things going on. We have a stretch or shrink factor. In this case, we're going to stretch it because we're multiplying by 2. But we also have a shift. So if you remember, the shift inside the parentheses means it's going left or right. So I know that this is a negative. So the opposite would mean it was going this direction. So I'm going to start here. This is where my vertex is. All right, and then I put some pieces on a t-chart -chart already. Um, so if I'm going over 1, I would normally go up 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. But now I'm going up 2 because I have a stretch on this. So over 1, up 2, 1, 2. Negative 1, up 2. Oops, excuse me. Negative 1, <laughs> down 2, 1, 2. Positive 2, back to, my, back to my starting point, 1, 2, and up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's about here. Now I'm going to go from my starting point, negative 2, 1, 2, 
and I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So approximately there. So that's what that would look like approximately. Not the greatest sketch, but you guys get the idea. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one is a square root function. So if you're not sure what your functions look like, consult your parent function sheets. We have a couple of them to look for. So square root, square root. All right, now, this one has a flip in it automatically. So I know that whatever I'm doing is going to happen in the opposite direction of what it normally does. So I have worked on this ahead of time so that I could be expedient for you. All right, so I know that I'm starting at zero. and then I'm going in the opposite direction of what I usually go. So I'm going over one, up one half, because I have a shrink factor, so I'm multiplying by one half. Over two, oh, I'm sorry, over four, back to my starting, one, two, three, four, and then take half of that, whoops, half of that, and that is one. So over four, up one. Now I'm going to three. Nine was under the square root. Three is the square of that. I'm sorry, the square root of that times one half gives you 1.5. So I'm gonna go over nine. One, two, oh, it's already drawn out, nine and up one half, or one and a half. So you would have a piece that looks kind of like that. All right, so the point of the shrink and stretch factor is you take what you normally had which was a normal t-chart, figure out where your vertex is, and anything one or greater, you're going to stretch it, anything less than one and greater than zero, you're going to shrink it so it stretches it out further. I'm sorry, it makes it wider. So we have a stretch, a pulling up, and a shrink which kind of flattens it down. Give it a try. <laughs> 